What is up my lords of bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay. So today guys I want to talk to you all about is the latest update that came out which is 1.13 that has come out for Modern Warfare and this is the first patch in 2020 and it is the first patch that we've seen in 5 weeks which in my mind is like how how is this possible like for a game that's so big should be getting patches every week and then you take off christmas and new years F fair enough but you could easily have ones scheduled come out over the christmas time because that's when you're going to get a a bigger influx of players on your player base and on your game so it just doesn't make sense to me but you know all it is what it is man it is what it is so the new item that everyone was hyped for was the crossbow now there are two ways to unlock this crossbow one is to get five kills in 25 different games using marksman rifles only and of course the other way is just buying the crossbow for 1200 uh, cod points which you also get some calling cards and i think some stickers as well like i, I don't understand why but if you actually buy the crossbow, you can't put any attachments onto it until you actually unlock it. Now another big thing that was added was five new loadout slots. And I think it was in my previous one that I said it's very easy to do this. And you don't actually need too much testing to do all of this. Which should have been in the game from the get-go personally for me. And I'm kind of surprised that we actually didn't have to pay for this because... I think it was in another Call of Duty game that you actually had to pay to unlock more uh, class setups, which is just, it blows my mind, like it's just ridiculously dumb. And, you know, this is good for the game, because we needed it, and I don't understand why it wasn't in the game in the first place. So, moving on into playlists we still have the 3v3 gunfight which is going to be here till next week probably till tuesday which should have the next update i'd say and a game mode that has been added into modern warfare is capture the flag which everybody basically knows and has played before if you haven't you're missing out on a lot and shoot the ship playlist is replacing shoe house 24 7 which a lot of people are kind of up in arms about because shipment is like the worst map in the game like it is ridiculously dumb i absolutely hate it. i'll never play it every time it comes up i'll be just going into shoe house because shoe house is the best map in this game hands down all the other maps are absolute trash compared to this one and Nina Palace, I think it's called, has been added to Ground War. Up next, we have buffs that some of the guns got. One of them being the Ram 7, which personally, I love this gun. And its extended magazine attachment can actually now hold 50 instead of its previous, which was 45. It's still small. It's a small kind of buff, which personally i think was actually needed because i use uh that on it i use magazine extend a clip on it because <laughs> you really need it next we have the mk2 carbine which increased bullet penetration which basically in my mind it could make it a two bullet kill which isn't too bad for it because it is a carbine it should really be that and last but not least we have the fn scar 17 which actually got less horizontal recoil on initial bullets of the fn scar 17 which at least almost i'd say 90 percent of the community does not use this weapon because it's just it's terrible it's absolutely terrible moving on the trophy system actually got a huge buff that increase its protection radius which in some cases people were kind of complaining about that it should have that it needed it but i don't really think it needed it i just don't think i think it would have been fine the way it was it also decreased the radius and the damage taken by trophy explosions 
and fixed a bug where the damage explosion and effects wouldn't trigger for the third explosion which this that part kind of it just makes sense to me i don't understand what it means i'm presuming maybe if a car blows up beside you because of your trophy system setting off a bomb up in the air or something it wouldn't it wouldn't do any damage to you and now it actually does i'm presuming that's why i'm gathering anyway moving on to field upgrades so most of these are basically bug fixes uh fix a bug where using the stopping power rounds field upgrade with an empty c4 would cause the c4 detonator to appear before reloading with the stopping power rounds another is fix the bug that allows players to reach unintended location while manipulating the weapon drop field upgrade which is just quite funny to me i just love when people do that kind of stuff it also fixed a bug that allows the recon drone to fly into geo if c4 was thrown onto it and loads of people have been doing this you even see the kind of if you go back to black ops 4 and look at blackout you could actually throw a sensor there onto the rcxd and drive it in and it would just show up all the players that were there and then of course you could go and blow it up or just kind of leave it there if you wanted until your teammates go and then drive up to the people and then blow it up which was just it was so fun to do and it was just like oh my god you could probably also do that with you could do it with the c4 lots of people are doing it with c4 and recon drone as well just flying into people and just blowing them up which was fun as well to be fair i didn't do it but i've seen lots of people do it and it's very funny another thing is they fixed for stopping power rounds not applying the correct damage to headshots now the last one wasn't actually working properly with the headshots and now it is so thankfully they have fixed that after since the game came out it's quite a long time to leave it to be fair there are lots of bug fixes that were kind of big and small however i'm only going to talk about uh, some of them and the first one was various out of the map exploit fixes so anyone any one of the ones that you could get out of any maps you actually can't now and farmland i i can't even pronounce the first word for the farmland they've actually removed that from the location or from the rotation sorry i don't know why i said location it just makes no sense so for people who are going for weapon challenges they adjusted the damage threshold to get x amount of kills while injured to make it easier to get them which you know seems okay i guess to do when you do these challenges personally i don't because there's just no grind to this game like it's just it's, i don't know it's hard to explain for me personally next we have is player collision which now has been fixed which shouldn't have been in the game from the start so if you go to a door or a window you actually can push your the other player out of the window or you or vice versa basically if you're aiming down side there's a glitch where you can actually run and press whatever button it is for you to slide if you press that twice and then press the jump button you can actually bring your gun up instantly so it's basically like your gun never went down and they fixed this by making people have their gun come up slower so it's slower recovery is what they called it finally you know we have some of the store items arctic beasts which where you get your uh, crossbow and then in stone warrior where you can get a character skin and two new blueprints and then there's some lunar shit i don't a store item which is basically just utter shite basically it's just yeah here have this here hello <laughs> it's just terrible but you know that is it guys i hope you did like this video if you did please hit the like button if you have not already please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to know whenever i upload a video if you want to stay up to date whenever i upload a video the notification bell on my channel will do it but if you don't i manually update twitter 
where I upload or even go live stream. You know, I'm going to try and get back into live streaming soon enough as well. And if you want to go to my Twitter, link down in the description below. Once you are there, you can hit the follow button. You can hit the notification bell if you want. But, you know, retweeting, liking, and then just posting random shit or commenting will just come up on your feed. And you don't really want that or even on your phone. And it don't really want that, to be fair. Also, my Twitch will be in the link in the description below as well. And when you're there, you can hit the follow button. And you can also hit the notification bell to know whenever I go live there. I also use the live stream on Mixer a lot. But I'm not doing that anymore because of people that were on it just being dickheads. But yeah, that's it guys. Hope you like, favorite, and subscribe. And peace.